All right, you're turning into this. This is Angry Dad, episode one. Shit that pisses me off and why it pisses me off. You know, I'm going to get right into the fucking nitty gritty. And the only reason I'm doing this right now at the nitty gritty, which I'm going to be reporting most of these in my fucking car because I got plenty of time waiting on my hands to pick up my kids from school, which brings me to the issue at hand. People that are fucking idiots in their fucking cars. How can you not fucking know how to drive? How did you get a fucking license? Why are you driving? Who fucking gave you a car? Do you have enough common sense to keep a job, to pay for a car, to pay for insurance, to fucking actually live your life? Because that's just how it seems. Absolutely. You know? It's a fucking shit show when I come to pick up my kids. An absolutely fucking crazy shit show. I'm watching people doing stupid ass fucking maneuvers parking, waiting, getting out of their fucking car, leaving their car running in the middle of the fucking street. You know, just because you're an idiot, don't fucking fuck everyone else's day up. You know, I show up to school to pick up my kids an hour early just so I can park under a tree, not have to stress out, be able to roll up and enjoy my motherfucking self. Because you know what? One thing I hate, is not being on time. And another thing I hate is dealing with idiots when you're trying to do something specific, which we all fucking know. You know, you're going to a place, you're sitting down, you're waiting because you know what? You have the consciousness, the understanding that I need to be on time so I don't need to fucking rush. So I don't need to find a parking spot. So I don't need to be in a hurry. You know, I understand people live their fucking life moment to moment because they're fucking retarded and they don't understand the concept of time. Oh, I need to hurry up. I'm running late. You're always running late because it's the exact same fucking idiots every day doing the exact same fucking shit right off fucking top. I swear. Sometimes I just want to reach into one of these fucking cars, yank one of these fucking people out and just start yelling in their face. Why are you so fucking stupid? I know everybody's fucking thought about doing it. God damn it. I'm so fucking close to doing it. Some of these days, I'm just fucking sitting in my car watching these fucking morons. But, but, you know, I got a family. I got kids. Can't get arrested, you know. Even though fucking sometimes I'm so tempted to just fucking be like, fuck it. Someone needs to straighten these people out. But, but, you know, I got to fight that fucking urge off all the fucking time. Because people are fucking stupid. Just like... I'm pretty sure most of you out there, out there in the fucking world listening to this, understand completely what I'm saying. Because, God fucking damn it. I swear. How do these people get licenses? How do these people obtain the fucking licensing to fucking drive? I'm sorry. But the, the, there should be a fucking 100, 100 question test, an extensive, extensive driving test, course, parking abilities, common sense test. The kind of stuff they're like, you know what? I don't think it's safe for you to drive on the road because you can't figure out how to park. You can't figure out how to double park. And double park, I mean, you, you, there, just check this out. If you don't know how to parallel park, no fucking license. Plain and simple. Simple fact is, why would you get out of your car, ask me to move just so you can park? Fuck no. I showed up an hour early to park under this fucking shady ass tree to get out of the fucking heat for your dumb ass to get out of the car and be like, hey, can you move? Why? Why? What time did you get here? Oh, five minutes before the fucking bell rings? Too fucking bad. Park down the fucking street. Why do I need to fucking give up my spot? Because you're stupid. That's the kind of stuff I'm talking about. If I give you enough space... And look, I'm not talking about I'm taking up the whole fucking road. I'm not taking up the whole fucking sidewalk. I'm parking on the street myself. All right? There's enough space for someone to be able to parallel park between me and the other person. Because the other person has a good idea too. Because me and the other person show up an hour early. You know? He parks in his spot where the shade's at. I park in my spot in the shade's at. The spot in the middle is right dead in the sun. So if you can't parallel park in that spot and sit there and sweat, well, too fucking bad too fucking bad why'd you even ask me why'd you even bother getting out of your car you know sometimes i don't feel like i look intimidating enough because people just seem to ask me blatant ass questions you know most people have the fucking common sense to be like you know what let me leave that guy alone 
And let me just give you a quick description of myself. I'm 6'5", Mexican, covered from tattoos from my neck down to my fucking feet. I wear a sleeveless. You know, I'm not huge. I'm not fucking, you know, muscular, but I'm fucking pretty decent size. All right? Fucking full-on beard. Mean-ass fucking look on my face because I hate people. I don't want nobody to ask me questions. You know what? I'm not saying that I'm a hateful person. I just can't stand the people I got to deal with when I go to school to pick up my kids. Because these people are fucking retarded. Look, I'm a nice, easy-going fucking guy. Get on my good side. We talk. We bullshit. I'm very fucking cordial. But, ugh. Why do I got to deal with these fucking morons on a daily basis? Just because my kids can go to a good school. So my kids can go to a decent school. So my kids can get their fucking education on. And speaking of fucking education, why do I feel like these people went to school, didn't pick up a goddamn fucking thing? You know? School's here to teach you lessons and facts and, you know, problem-solving skills. Why do I feel as soon as some of these people get out of school, those are out the fucking door? You know? Out the fucking door. How are you living your life? You know? I read a book. I know what I'm doing. There's more to reading books and figuring out facts. You need to be able to apply shit in life. And if you can't apply it in life, what makes you des- what makes you des- think you deserve to fucking be able to function in a world where everyone's going to give you what you want? Because that's not how this fucking world works. You know? I'm not the most highly educated. But, you know, I got common sense. I have the ability to be like, you know what? That's not a good idea. I'm not going to do that. You know, ooh, this pan is hot. Let me grab it barehanded. That's how I feel these people fucking function. Oh, I'm in the emergency. I burnt my fucking hand. Doctor asked, what'd you do? I touched a hot pan. Oh, guess what? Don't do that again. You know, just saying. Just fucking saying. This, these, this is how I'm perceiving people as they drive. I'm just imagining sitting in my car, fucking just making up scenarios about how these people live their daily lives by the way they drive. They, they could be perfectly normal people, perfect, perfectly get along with no fucking issues and stuff like that. But as soon as they get behind the fucking wheel, it's like, who in the fuck are you? Do you really drive like this? Do you really feel that as soon as you hit this little magic wand of a turn signal, everyone's supposed to stop in their fucking tracks to let you go? No, there's rules to this fucking road and you need to abide by them just like everybody else. Just because you're in a fucking $80,000, $100,000 car, whatever. I don't give a fuck if it's a fucking $500 car. If you feel you're entitled to fucking have your right away at all times, I'm sorry, but that's not how this fucking works. At all. At all. You don't just fucking jump out in the middle of fucking traffic from a standstill to fucking trying to catch up with people doing 60 miles an hour. And that's on the freeway. You guys see it. People just like, oh, I'm just going to jump in front of everybody doing fucking what? 40 miles an hour in a 65 fucking zone. Yeah, that's what causes accidents. You know, people driving with no consideration causes fucking accidents. I see people in this fucking parking lot that I'm at waiting for my son to get out of school fucking roll up almost run people over because they don't want to look people are in the crosswalk trying to cross and they still want to run it there's a person with a fucking stop sign in their hand telling you to stop but you're oblivious to life because you want to do what you want to do oh my god i'd fuck it you know sometimes i feel like it's my purpose in life to just fucking wipe these people out I'm not saying I'm going to. I'm just saying I feel like it sometimes, you know? Let me get a sledgehammer, ball ball pin hammer, you know? A couple rounds and fucking take a few out. But that's not what I'm going to do, you know? I just feel like it. I want to say it. That's why I'm saying it. That's why I'm doing this podcast because I want to be able to vent as much as I fucking possibly want to because somebody needs to fucking hear it. I'm pretty sure people agree. I'm pretty sure they do. But fuck them. You know, (sighs) well, you know, I think that's enough ranting for today. So this is Angry Dad podcast number one. And so is Angry Dad, Angry Dad, uh, Angry Dad podcast number one. Find me a beat of the fourth power, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, all the fucking social media, even Twitter. You know what I'm saying? You gotta, I just post random ass fucking shit, positive memes. I'm a motivational kind of guy, but you know what? Sometimes you can't be motivational all the fucking time. You gotta vent. You gotta understand. This is how this shit goes. 
You know, I also want to do a quick plug. Terrible, uh, terrible terror podcast. My buddy does one on BS movies that are fucking great to watch, great to listen to. Check it out. Also, check out B to the four. Uh, check out it. Be like that podcast. That shit makes me laugh. I like it. It's real life fucking shit. Check it out. All right. Just saying. It'd be like that. See you guys on the next one. I might be doing quite a few a week because I got a lot to fucking say. Bye.